Welcome back to my channel. I'm Brandy and you're... <laughs> I am here with a what's... Oh my gosh. Take three. Oh, and the wind is howling. That's fantastic. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Brandy and you're watching The Glam Bell and today I uh, kind of blend in with the background and I'm also rocking my she didn't try hairstyle and I also feel a little bit under the weather so hopefully this video is not a hot mess. I want to do a what's in my bag video. I haven't done one of these in maybe a year, maybe two years. I don't even know if they're still popular on YouTube. Is this still a thing? I might be canceled after this but it's it's fine. I'm gonna do it because I like these videos. If you're not subscribed to my channel already please go ahead hit that subscribe button down there. Make sure to hit the bell so that that you're notified when I upload videos here on YouTube. And without further ado, let's go ahead and see how much unneeded garbage I can find in my purse. Here is my bag. I love it. I've been using it for about the last month and a half to two months. I love using a backpack because listen, when I have my kids and I've got 50 other things in my hand, backpacks just make the most sense and ever since I've been wearing one it's like that's all I want to carry with me now. This is actually from Yode and if you've heard of that name then you probably know the brand Yode from their wood watches. That's kind of what they're famous for but they just came out with a brand new line of handbags. They did send this bag to me so I just want to put that out there but this video is not sponsored. I just kind of wanted to show you guys what the bag looks like and all of that. Before we hop into all the junk that I have stuffed into this bag, I do want to give you some information on it because I have been loving this bag. So this particular bag is called the Binka Mini Backpack from Yode. It's the perfect amount of space for everyday use, but it's still compact enough that you don't feel like you are carrying some big, heavy purse around with you. All of their bags are actually made from Super Hide. I had actually never heard of Super Hide before, but apparently it is premium cork leather, and it's the world's most durable luxury fabric steeped in natural Portuguese cork. It has the look and feel of rich leather and actually has a subtle texture to it. And it's also vegan leather, so no animals are harmed in the making of these bags. And the Binka mini backpack actually has microfiber vegan suede lining. It's got adjustable shoulder straps with this beautiful gold detail. And I love that textured look that the premium cork gives the bag. It's just so cool. This material is something that I've never seen before. And this material is actually resistant to scratches and tears. It's hypoallergenic, it's water resistant, flame retardant, and it has so many other notable qualities. If you're interested in checking out any of their vegan handbags, then definitely check the description box. I'll have everything linked down there. I am an affiliate with them, so if you want to check out my affiliate link, then you can do that as well. Um, and I would definitely recommend checking out their website because it's very interesting. They're all about sustainable luxury, and I think it's really cool what they're doing. Let's go ahead and jump into what's actually inside, and I'm not going to I'm a little bit scared. First little front pocket. I'm just going to pull everything out and then we'll go through each uh, item. So these are all the items that were in the small front pocket. That's where I carry like all my lip glosses and stuff. So I do have this CoverGirl Clean Fresh Tinted Lip Oil. This one is in the shade Swipe Right. Actually, let me go ahead and why not? I love these lip oils from CoverGirl. They are so, so nice. Next lip gloss that I have is this one. This is the Stay Glossy Lip Gloss from Rimmel and it is in the shade Claire Ridges Ruby. Weird name, but beautiful gloss. My beloved New Blissful Cosmetics gloss. This is in the shade Nearly Naked. This is such a beautiful, like neutral with a little bit of a pinky undertone. I love this. And then I always have to have something that has SPF in it because I am prone to fever blisters. So if I'm out in the sun, I have to put SPF on my lips. This is the Super Goop Acai Fusion Lip Balm with Shea Butter and this has SPF 30 in it. This is also the pocket that I usually keep all my pens and pencils and all of that. I do have a Bic pencil. Ooh, that's so exciting, isn't it? Aren't you just shaking right now at the excitement? And then I have a Sharpie pen. I usually always keep like a little fine point Sharpie with me um, just in case anybody ever wants autographs. <laughs> I can't, I can't even say that with a straight face. That is not why I keep this in here. I always keep a Sharpie with me though, just in case like I need to write on something that pen doesn't want to write on. And this looks like a pen, but it's actually a really nice stylus. And I actually just got this. 
The back of it screws off and it has this little end right here. On this side right here, it has more of like the fine point pin and you can put the top on either end. It's a little stylus for your phone or iPad. Oh, we have some bills, medical stuff. We have some Swedish fish. I did not put these in here, I'm pretty sure. My youngest daughter put these in my purse. Also my youngest, she's about to have her first orthodontist appointment. Um, she's about to get braces, but they have to pull some teeth before we do braces. So this is just the referral for her to go see the orthodontist. So that's super fun. The last thing that I actually found in that little pocket is this eyelash brush. And I've been using this with my new little eyelash extensions. It's about time for me to get them filled for the first time, but I like to keep this in there just in case they start to get a little wonky and stick together if you've had eyelash extensions you know what I'm talking about now I can pull out some of the bigger stuff and the first thing we have here is my wallet this is from Steve Madden I got this from TJ Maxx I love getting wallets that have lots of different pockets in it I'm able to put a little bit of everything it is like a little wristlet so if I ever don't want to carry my bag in or my purse in then I can literally just carry this with me and have it on my wrist and I'm good to go I'm pretty sure I've been using this for like the last 10 years of my life. I kind of keep all of like my medical stuff. Band-Aids, I've got Band-Aids in there. I've got these little lid scrud pads um, because I do wear contacts. I have lens wipes for my glasses if I'm wearing my glasses. I always keep some Tums on me just in case my stomach wants to act up. This actually should not be in there with <laughs> these items, but I actually just put in my Baby Blendiful and I used it um, today, actually, while I was out and about. Visine, again, contact wearer, so I have to keep all of this stuff on hand. Gotta have floss. Listen, I can't go anywhere without floss. Like, I never remember carrying floss with me when I was a teenager. Like, I didn't think about that, but like now I cannot go without having floss on me at all times. So that is pretty much all that is in this little bag. Next thing, oh, y'all. Okay, so I'm just gonna have a, a pair of underwear in here. And normally I don't carry underwear in my purse, even though I've heard that that's a really good idea. You should always carry an extra pair of underwear on you. And maybe that is something that I should do, but these were not in there because I was carrying an extra pair of underwear. I'm not gonna tell you the story behind this. That's just, okay, we're, we're just, underwear. Okay, moving on. Victoria's Secret Body Spray. This is in the um, scent Heavenly, which, oh, so good. This scent has been around forever and it still remains one of my favorite scents that Victoria's Secret makes. I have some lotion that I stole from my hotel. I'm sure everyone does that. I'm not the only one. But this uh, reminds me of, oh gosh, what is the brand? Bulgari. I think that's how you pronounce it. It smells like one of their perfumes. This is white tea aloe body lotion and it's Heavenly Spa by Weston. So it was a Weston hotel that we were at that I took this. I have a little baggie uh, full of tissues because again, mom life. The next thing I've got is a silk scrunchie. You know I can't go anywhere without a silk scrunchie. You just never know when you need to put your hair up and if you're a curly girl, it needs to be silk. Next thing I've got is a pair of sunglasses. These are actually really, really old and I don't really feel like I ever wear these, but these are by Muggler. I can't remember where I got these, but I actually just got some new sunglasses and I cannot wait to show you guys what they look like. These are the ones that were stuffed in the bottom of my purse, so that's good. Next item is um, part of a charger because you never know when you need to charge something. Next thing is some Germ-X hand sanitizer, which of course this is like a non-negotiable right now. Everyone apparently in the US is completely stocked up with hand sanitizer because all of my local stores are out of hand sanitizer or out of soap are out of any antibacterial anything basically. Everyone decided to just start washing their hands when the coronavirus hit, so that's cool. I've always carried hand sanitizer with me just in case, you know what I'm saying? I like to keep my hands pretty clean as much as I possibly can. The next thing I have is this little purse holder. This is something I've had in my purse forever. Whenever you're out to eat, you just put this on the side of your table and then you hang your purse on it. And then you don't have to put your purse on the ground. You don't have to take up another chair with your purse. It just works like a charm. I love it. And then it just folds right on up like this and you just pop it back in your purse. And the next thing I have is this right here. And these are headphones. I carry these everywhere with me. And I usually have my Bluetooth headphones from Studio with me at any given time, but they're in my car right now. But I always like to keep these just in case the Bluetooth battery runs out. These have a plug so you can always 
always plug these in. I also keep some earplugs in here as well. And I have one more thing. It is my Beach Body Chocolate Almond Crunch Bar. I keep one of these in my purse at all times. I know me, if I start to get hangry, and I don't have anything with me that I can pull out and eat that's kind of sort of nutritious, then I will grab something that is not good. I'll end up getting fast food or whatever. So I like to keep this plant-based and it's a little snack bar, basically like a little protein bar. It has 150 calories, nine grams of protein, four grams of fiber. These are my favorite little protein bars. There is still one more pocket, which is in the front. Huh, funny, I have another silk scrunchie. This one is like the baby of this one. I also have my gym lock because this is necessary. I'm at the gym almost every single day. Um, okay, so I have one of these, my favorite little invention. This is the Invisibobble. So whenever I do my little messy buns, I love using this. More floss because again, necessary. Can't leave the house without it. Um, my sad little baggie of candy and mints. I use these for church so that my breath always smells good. The last thing I want is for someone to come pray for me and they got stank breath all up in my face. You know what I'm saying? So I try, I try to be conscientious about that. These are little ginger chews. This is so good for if you feel a little nauseous or if your stomach is a little upset or if you just want good breath. This is like an all-in-one little magic candy and I, I love it, I love it. If you've never had a ginger chew, then you're missing out on life. The next thing is this right here. This is 100% pure essential oil, grapefruit. I have a little air freshener in my car that has like this little pad and you just put essential oil on it and it hooks into your little vent and it blows out fresh essential oils into your face. I love the scent of grapefruit or anything kind of citrusy. So I keep this in my purse. This is the marshmallow moisture stick from the brand Treat. Candy Johnson used to talk about these all of the time in her videos. Me and my girls use this every single day whenever our lips are feeling a little dry or chapped. And this literally smells just like marshmallows. Last thing that I have, this little cross right here. I think I got this from like a restaurant or something that we went to. It was like a Christian owned restaurant and they gave these out at the register. And so I picked one up and I kind of keep it with me wherever I go. Just as, you know, a nice little reminder of my fate. There we have it. That is everything that was in my bag. Do you guys hoard stuff in your bag or are you like a minimalist? Are you someone that is able to carry a little tiny bag with very, very minimal belongings? If you are, I'm super jealous and I wish that I could convert to that. I really do. Make sure to check out the Yod website below. I'll have everything in the description box if you guys are interested in checking out any of their watches, their handbags, their wallets. That is it for this video. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you in my next one. Peace out.